Okay. So that's the top 10. And now we can jump into honorable mentions. Um, and number one, let's just, just use that as a blank. So number one on the honorable mentions is Cult of Variable. Cult of Variable is online only, and they specialize in Dan Andean, uh, Andean, mostly tuber crops, things like yuluco, potatoes, oka, mashua, achira, yacon, all kinds of the Andean domesticated root crops. He, it, Bill William Whitson, is just pretty much the premier breeder of most of those crops other than potatoes obviously um and he's really really working hard at like breeding new varieties of those crops and increasing the fertility of those crops um he's pretty much the world expert on yuluco and uh yacon i would say in terms of like it's you know reproductive biology and seed um plant breeding so he's a really amazing guy. I actually don't have any, this is seed from Bill that this is potato, true potato seed. You know, this is like, you can see a, a pedigree of, of these seeds of the breeding work that he did. This I got through the Kenosha Potato Project. I have never actually purchased anything from Cultivariable. So it's a little weird that he's on my honorable mention list, but like he's doing amazing work. And if you live in a slightly more conducive climate to growing the crops that he specializes in, um, then I highly recommend him because he needs to be supported because he's doing just such important work and he's like, his seed company is completely unique. The problem is all the plants that he's working with do not grow well here other than potatoes. And so I'm kind of like watching his stuff as soon as he has like cracked the photo period issue with with Oka and with Yuluko, I'm going to be buying all over that stuff, you know, and I'm I'm almost tempted to start buying in some of his Yukon varieties, but they sell out so fast that I can't um, I can't get in the door, but I do have a lot of respect for Bill and I want more people to start, you know, supporting his company, even though that means I may not actually get access to it. Uh, as quickly because more people should be buying him. He should be selling out of everything all the time um, Cultivariable awesome company um, Doing super important work. Okay native seed search uh, That's a seed company out of Arizona, I'm pretty sure um, and they specialize in Native American seed varieties from the American Southwest, you know from northern Mexico New Mexico, Arizona, specifically. And a lot of that stuff is super interesting and special. Um, I have bought some corns from them. Uh, I've bought squash from them. Obviously, I'm really, really far away from the American Southwest, so not all of their stuff is like well adapted here, although I really had a great luck with the uh, Tarahumara Golden Cristalino last year, and this is a very similar uh, strain of corn which I'm adding in. This is a uh, yellow apachito, which is another Tarahumara flint corn. Um, so I don't have the seed catalog, but um, Native Seed Search is a good seed company, especially if you live someplace that's more arid than here. Um, okay, Southern Exposure. Southern Exposure is a seed company from the southeast. They specialize in southeastern traditional heirloom varieties. They have a lot of beans. They have a lot of field corns. They have a, they have probably the best selection of peanuts of any seed company that I'm aware of, certainly for home gardeners. Uh, southern peas, cow peas, they have a huge selection. Um, a lot of tomato varieties. Um, most of their stuff is too long season and, you know, hot it's not well adapted our season is too short for a lot of their stuff but this is a really nice seed company especially if you live you know for closer to the mason dixon line you know um i really like southern exposure i don't use them a whole lot but they have a lot of really cool stuff um okay fruition seeds is a relatively new seed company from the they're in naples new york and they are uh specializing in organic 
bioregionally adapted seed varieties. So they grow all their own seed or they contract with people in New York local to them for their own for their seed growing. So they're trying to create a seed company that's producing seed in the Northeast for Northeastern growers. And I really admire what Fruition is doing. I don't use them a whole lot, mostly because I already have most of the stuff that they have. They're just, they're still expanding. But if you live in like New York or Pennsylvania or anywhere in New England, New Jersey, I would really, you know, recommend trying Fruition. They have, you know, in your home gardener, they have a lot of cool stuff and like their mission is really great. I, I actually personally know Matt and Petra um, and they actually have a few varieties of stuff on, in their catalog that they got from me. Uh, so I really like them. I don't honestly use them mainly because they don't really, they're not yet set up to sell bulk quantities to market gardeners or anything like that. And so, uh, yeah, but Fruition is a really cool company. Um, Turtle Tree is another company from New York they specialize in biodynamic uh, seed. So all of their seed is grown biodynamically, biodynamically certified. So if you're a biodynamic gardener or an anthroposophist, I mean, you probably already know about them. Uh, they're a really neat little seed company. I don't use them a whole lot. I, it's kind of like, you can only use so many seed companies, you know? And, um, but I really like Turtle Tree. Um, I, I, I'm not an anthroposophist and so, and we don't, grow biodynamically so that's one of the reasons you know i think i don't focus on but turtle tree so much yeah they, this is something special and their stuff is all a little bit different from what you're going to find other places okay like west coast seeds this is a canadian seed company i have not used them all that much but my cousin who lives in british columbia uses them pretty much exclusively i have purchased a few things from them the seed quality was really high uh I, I really like them. I don't buy anything from them anymore because like I typically buy just small quantities and I, I feel like I felt like I was ripping them off, you know, because like you, if they're just shipping a packet of basil, of Thai basil, which honestly, I bought some Thai basil from them. It's the best Thai basil I've ever used. It was just beautiful stuff. Productive, didn't bolt. Um, so these people produce really good seed. Uh, I, I felt guilty. I felt like I was making them lose money. So if you're in Canada or if you are on the West Coast and you want to just buy from one or two companies and you can put together a bigger order, like they will not disappoint you. This is high quality stuff. They have a great selection. This is actually, I think, a pretty decent sized seed company for Canada. So then Pine Tree. Pine Tree Garden Seeds is a little seed company out of Maine. Um, they're really nice if you're a small home gardener because they sell small quantities of stuff like they'll sell you like five seeds of something you know they have little tiny seed packets for very reasonable prices you know and so it's you don't have to buy a huge amount of seed for something you only want like one or two plants of you know so they're really well scaled for like the backyard you know gardener with like a window window box or something like that they have a lot of reasonably priced stuff they have uh, okay, another one. Kitazawa. Kitazawa is another Asian vegetable variety specialist. They're a little bit larger, I think, than Evergreen, honestly. And they have, they skew more towards Japanese vegetables, although they, they have a lot of, you know, whereas Evergreen, I would say, skews a little more towards Chinese vegetable varieties. Um, Kitazawa is probably a lot more user-friendly to use. They have a catalog. They have a really, you know, user-friendly website. Um, I think they're a bigger company. They, honestly, I, I found their quality be, to be a little less reliable than Evergreen. And so I don't use Kitazawa quite as much. But, they, you know, they have... Especially if you're interested in Asian vegetables, Kitazawa is a good company to use. Um, and I have been very happy with some of the stuff I've purchased from them. And so they are worth checking out. Um, so then Young's Seeds is a conglomerate that has a bunch of catalogs associated with it. Vermont Bean Seed, Shumways, Young Seeds, Totally Tomatoes, uh... There's more that I can't think of. Those are all actually, they all 
all of those seed catalogs come from the same company and they all like go back to Randolph, Wisconsin, 334 West Stroud Street. So you basically got like five or six or seven different seed companies, seed companies that are actually all one seed company. And um, I'm not that into them, but one thing to keep in mind, if you get all of those different catalogs, like if you get Totally Tomatoes, they have a different mix of stuff that's listed in the catalog than what they have in, you know, Vermont beans. Like Vermont bean seed has a bunch of peas and beans and stuff. Shumway's has a bunch of old timey looking vegetables in it. Um, but it actually, you can combine the orders from all of those seed companies and have it shipped in one order. So if you wanna leaf through five different seed catalogs from different seed companies, you can actually get them all shipped from the same place in Randolph, Wisconsin. So to me, that's a hassle. I don't even wanna mess with that. And I, I kind of like, I find Young's a little bit sketchy but, you know, they do have a few things that are, you know, interesting and open pollinated. I haven't ordered from any of those companies in years, but, I mean, they're out there. They're very common. They, they're pretty big in the seed catalog trade. So, um, but that was just one tip. Like, if you want to just buy one thing out of Vermont Bean and one thing out of Shumways and one thing out of Young's and one thing out of Totally Tomatoes, you can get that all on one order. So, just know that. Tomato Growers is a independent company that mostly specializes in uh, tomatoes and peppers and they have eggplant. So they're pretty much, but I mean, 90% of it is tomatoes. Um, and this is a good company. I've had good success with their seed. Um, they're a small company, but they have a huge selection. Um, yeah, and they're not part of a conglomerate like Totally Tomatoes. So I don't really use them that much just because I don't you I don't go into the like huge uh, pepper or actually I don't do like a lot of different varieties of tomatoes, but if you're into like growing a ton of different kinds of tomatoes, you know, they got you covered. Um, and their quality is good and their customer service is good. This is a nice company. Um, uh, Fertile Valley is Carol Deppie's sort of seed outlet for her own breed work, breeding work. This is one of her books. Uh, I really like this book. This is a Resilient Gardener. Another great book she's written is Breed Your Own Vegetable Varieties. And she's also got a new one out about vegetable gardening that I haven't read yet. Um, Fertile Valley Seeds is her outlet for selling her own breeding work. And from what I've heard, it's not in operation this year. So she took, she put out her seed list last year and then only fulfilled part of the orders. And I, I some kind of personal uh, medical issue happened is from what I've heard sort of through the grapevine. And so I don't think Fertile Valley Seeds is in operation this year, but it might come back online sometime um and there are other places and sources for some of her breeding work especially the corns and some of the squash so yeah reamers is a seed company that has a lot of stuff that is pretty unique especially with peppers and i'm using them for a big well big for me trial of different open pollinated and hybrid uh, poblano pepper varieties. And I bought a big selection, like seven or eight different varieties, you know, for about, you know, $2 a piece. I'm pretty excited about doing that trial. They have some stuff that they've pulled out of the USDA and grown out themselves, which is pretty unique. And so I'm interested in knowing more about them. I, I think I might call them up and find out what's the deal with Reamer because their their website looks a little plastic. It looks a little like they're kind of a fly-by-night operation, but then when you actually look at the stuff that they have, it's pretty impressive. So I, I've been impressed with Reamer and their quality was decent. Um, actually, its quality has been perfect you know, so far. Um, and then this is any seed. They kind of are a commercial growers catalog. I don't really use them, 
but I've grown a few things that I got from them in the past and it was good stuff so um you know they're kind of standard varieties and you know mostly hybrids they're, it's not really my cup of tea but um from everything I can tell you know they're a reputable operation that you know has good seed so um they're worth checking out and then the last one is agro high tie which is another seed company from canada and they are sort of the canadian version of i don't have a catalog but they're online um they're kind of the canadian version of evergreen i would say they're an asian vegetable specialist um out of toronto i believe uh, and their mix of vegetables that they have is a little bit different from uh, what you're going to see out of Kitazawa or Evergreen. So I, I've been happy with the stuff that I bought from them. There's a few things that they have in their catalog that are actually technically not legal to import across the border uh, into the United States. So just keep that in mind. Mostly because they're kind of like tropical... I think invasive so they don't want them you know people buying them and then like starting to grow them in florida or whatever um but uh yeah so that's something to keep in mind uh so that is my honorable mentions list i guess i'll leave it at that you know like there are some companies that i haven't mentioned because i just don't use them and there's some companies that i don't use because i really don't like them uh some of them are quite popular with uh other people i mean i sort of delineated why i don't use johnny's um there are some other companies that are pretty popular i feel like with the home gardening community that i don't care for uh but you know what i'm just going to keep this video positive for the most part um so these are the companies that i s recommend and support and the omission of a seed company may or may not mean anything. How's that? So, I hope you like these videos, and uh, thank you very much for watching.